Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here rolling solo dolo for another Madden 19 relocation franchise. This time we're doing the Panthers, folks. TNT Dynamite will be joining me for the actual games, but uh, he, to be honest, he just doesn't give a shit about all this uh, menus and moving teams and all that stuff. Although I did get his input on where we're going to move the Panthers to. So basically what I'm going to do here, this is the second time I've done one of these. Uh, I'm going to take this team. I am going to go through uh, the team right now while uh, you guys are on camera with me. And I'm going to put all the players on the team, like on the trade block, trade away all their old players, all the really good players, um, and then completely rebuild the franchise in another city. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the stadium here and set the Panthers to be relocated. So I'm going to go to relocate, relocate, confirm. So we are going to go ahead and do that. So, all right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the team. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, put any player on the team that's 29 or older on the trade block to see who I can get for them. And then also anybody who's also really good. I don't want to keep any of their really good players. For example, like Kukli and Christian McCaffrey are both very good, but I'm not going to keep them. I'm going to basically deconstruct the team into like basically just a terrible team and then rebuild them. So, uh, so we're going to go ahead and go through. I will go to the QB. I'm going to put a gun, put uh, Cam Newton, just so you guys can see kind of who is all on the uh, team here. I'm going to go ahead and tra uh, put McCaffrey on the trade block. And then all of these players. I don't know if any of these guys are going to uh, be traded for, but I will add them all to the trade block. And then uh, what I'll end up doing is um, cutting them if I can't find anybody to trade them. Or I may try to manually trade them for anything. Um, so what, I'll do that. We'll, and then I'll do an uh, off-season video, which I'll basically rebuild the team, go through the draft, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, and we'll see what happens. And then uh, we'll go through, just like we did with the previous one, where I took the Denver Broncos and I relocated them to Austin for the Austin Desperados. And, you know, and we'll see how things go and how things progress. So there's a lot of good players on the Panthers that are old. So I'm thinking that some of these guys are going to go ahead and uh, get some trade offers. Uh, like this guy, he's, he's not. He's, he's a 68. I'm just going to cut him. So I'm going to get rid of him. All right, we'll go down. He's cool. Let's see here. He's old. Get rid of him. So the Panthers, the reason I picked the Panthers... Um, this time is I think there was like 20 players or more that were over 30 on their team or people that were very good that I'm just going to get rid of because I don't want, I want to be a challenge. I want them to be, uh, terrible. You know what I mean? So, all right, going through Mario Addison, we'll add him to the trade block. And then what I'll do is I'll go through and look at anybody that has a really high salary and try to trade them as well. I want to get, my goal is basically to get rid of anyone that's any good on the team and then also uh, clear the salary out. So if I have a bunch of cap penalties, you know, this this year, I'm going to trade Kukli because he's 27, but he, I don't need, I don't want him. He's a superstar. So, all right. Um, and then kind of, re so I'll have an ability to rebuild them because there's, they're all plenty of cap room, so and all the zillion draft picks from trading away all these guys. So, um, do they have anybody here who is? I mean, he's over third. Captain Munderland actually got some good corners. I didn't even realize that. So that's cool. And then uh, we always simulate the D. Uh, we only play the offense when we go through the games, which basically leaves a wild card. You know where the team could uh, could lose just because they give up a ton of points. So it's entirely possible this first season as well. So. These guys, I'm going to put them on the trade block and go from there. So once I put all these guys on the trade block here um, and go through and check out all the salaries of all the players to make sure that um, I'm going to actually try to trade the kicker and the punter. I think on the last franchise, I actually got an offer for the kicker and the punter. So, oh, I'll keep that punter. He's only 26. So that's good. And he has a great name. So, um, so I end up with a bunch of picks. I'm going to go look now at who 
salary, who has a big salary. And for 2018 here, so I'm going to eat all this cap. They're already traded. They're already traded. Block, trade, block. Got this guy. Uh, T. Turner. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll do that too. I'll add him. He has a giant salary, so I just don't want anybody that Donna Terry Poe. I'll add him to the trade block. I should get a ton of trade offers for these guys. Uh, Shaq Thompson, yeah, or Shaquille. Shaq Thompson, yeah, I'll, I'll add him to the trade block. I just don't want anybody with like $5 million salaries to, to be on the team. I want to be able to start fresh, so. All right, cool. So I guess the biggest salary I'm going to have left over will be DJ Moore, uh, which, I mean, I'm fine with keeping him. He's, he's, he's a rookie, so. All right, so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break, and then I will come back. And uh, we will go past the first week, see what trade offers we got and all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. So I will be right back. Okay, everybody. Here I am, week two of the preseason. I went ahead and advanced it a week. We'll see who we got a trade offer for. Looks just like a couple players. Uh, Kukli, who is one of the best players on the team. Let's see what we got offered for him. People are lowballing the shit out of me. But what I'm going to do is trade him for the best pick offer I got. One and two sevens. And it looks like that may be the best offer. God, what did Pittsburgh offer? I just don't want to trade him to Pittsburgh. Like, just out of, like, spite. Like, a one, a five, and a seven. Ugh. Dude, I just hate Pittsburgh. I just don't want to make them good. So I'm going to trade him to... Trade him to uh, here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and trade him to Green Bay. Because don't want to trade anybody to Pittsburgh. All right. Uh, we'll go down. Cam Newton now. Who are we going to trade him for? So what kind of offers do we get for him? Uh, second, second, second. All right. Anybody offer up a first for his ass? No. Let's see. Two and a six. Got a two... Five and a seven. Two and a six. Two and a five. Two and a five. All right. I think Detroit is probably a good play here. Yeah, I'm going to go because they're going to give me a, a second round pick this year. So I'm going to go and trade them to Detroit because maybe Detroit will get good. Who knows? You never know. Detroit is never good. So let's go down to K Short. Kawan Short. Let's see who. See what they want to give me for him. There's a second. Oh, there's a second round next year. All right, cool. We'll take that. Welcome to Buffalo, Kwan Short. And finally, Greg Olson, his old ass, will review the offer. A third, a third, a second. Um, let's see. A two and a seven. I'm going to actually trade him to Oakland. All right, cool. So we'll trade him to Oakland. All right, so let's go ahead and advance to next week here. See if uh, anybody else gets a trade offer. And we will go from there. Oh, another trade offer. Thank you, sir. Oh, a few more. All right, cool. Donatari Poe. What do we got for him? Um, Another second. Second and a four. Okay, cool. Works for me. He'll go to Detroit as well. Who else wants to be traded? Uh, oh, my kicker. Fuck yeah, dude. I will trade that kicker harder than anything. Uh, a five, a five, a five. All right. Five and a seven. Five and a seven. A five. A five. So 145 is probably the earliest pick I'll offer. Oh, 132. There we go. Welcome. Welcome to Washington, Graham Gano. And who else? Who we got here? My... Turner. All right. Oh, he's just expensive. All right. Ooh, a second. What else we got here? Second and a seventh. Third and a seventh. Second and a seventh. I will trade him to Minnesota. Next year, I'm going to have second round picks out the ass, dude. Holy shit. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and advance the week again. All right. We'll go and advance the week one more time. More trade offers. 
one for S. Thompson. All right, what do we offer here? What do we got here? A second and a seven, a second and a seven, third and a four, and a third. Ooh, I kind of like that three, four combo, but I'm going to take the second. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to take the second this year, so I get an extra pick this year to get better because I'm going to need fucking everything. So, all right, so there is that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate this last week of the preseason. Let's get to week one. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's do that. We'll get to week one. And then I will go ahead. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go ahead and go through and uh, cut out any of those other old players that uh, did not get trade offers, maybe try to trade them for something, and also fill up the team with whoever's available as a free agent. So once I do that, I will uh, come back and I will kind of go through the depth chart to show what our final roster is going to be for this like farewell season in Carolina. And then we will go from there and start moving through the season and uh, pick our team and relocate them, etc. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I went ahead and Colin McCaffrey uh, didn't get traded, they didn't make a trade offer for him, so I went ahead and traded him to Detroit for just like a first-round pick in this year's draft. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep trading away the, uh, the, the best players and the players that are old on this team and see what I can get. So if anything else happens on this, I will be right back. Okay, guys, I was able to trade uh, Thomas Davis Sr., uh, to the Cardinals for a uh, third round pick in this year's draft. He was like 84 overall, but he's like 35 years old. So pretty decent value for me, actually. So, all right, I'm going to keep on trading players away. And if there's anything else to report, I will be right back. Okay, guys, another trade for some fucking unknown reason. The Cardinals just traded next year's first round pick for Julius Peppers, who is an 82 overall, and he's only and he's 38 years old. I do not know why, but I'm not going to argue. I'm going to keep trading my players. I will be back if there's anything else to report. All right, guys, even more trades. Uh, Torrey Smith, old wide receiver, next, round, next year, round two pick from the Colts. Not sure why they traded it. It doesn't matter. That's what happens. Stacking up these draft picks to build this team back up. I'll keep reporting back as I make more trades. All right. And the super fire sale continues, everybody. Uh, I now have traded Matt and Ryan Khalil. I'm not even sure if they're related, but we'll call them the Khalil brothers to the Giants for a third round pick. I don't care for either of those guys. So it's a win for me. I'm going to keep wheeling and dealing. I'll be right back when I have anything else to report. Okay, guys, one more final trade, I think, before I start filling up the team with free agents and uh, showing you here the final roster. I got uh, the Broncos to trade me their first-round pick next year for uh, Mario Addison, who's 30, and uh, two seventh-round picks next year just because I had a shitload and I hate drafting players in the seventh round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start filling up the team with free agents. Uh, there really isn't one, anyone left on the team that is over 30 that is a good player. And uh, we'll go from there and s show you here the final roster on the depth chart here shortly and get going into the season where we're going to pick up our new team and where we're going to be located. Okay, guys, here is the team that is going to lead us into the final farewell season for the Carolina Panthers. Um, we got our starting quarterback, Tim Boyle. Running backs, we got, uh, looks like it's going to be Raheem Mostert. He's going to be tearing up the backfield. Fullback, Elijah Wellman. The wide receivers are pretty much the Panthers receivers. I kept most of them. Uh, it's going to be Funchess, DJ Moore. I'm actually going to put uh, DJ Moore number one. Jarius Wright, I'm going to switch with Curtis Samuel. I'm going to switch uh, Jarius Wright with a Demir Bird, too, because uh, Wright's kind of old anyway. I'm actually going to swap these guys. I'm going to put Wright all the way at the bottom. So, all right, our tight end is going to be Joshua Perkins. So, you know, he's good. Uh, left tackle, 
82. Oh, I don't want to do all this. Guys, what are you doing, man? Why you gotta... We want Ladrian Water, Waddle, and uh, <laughs> Jalen Ware. All right, left guard. We got Nico Siragusa and Greg Van Rotten. Center, we got Tyler Larson, Jake Brendel, and Mr. Clap. All right, we're going to put Jay McRae up here and Brandon Mahone as our backup. Right tackle, we got Taylor Moon and D. Williams. Oh, we got some good players, that's why. All right, so what I may actually do is, what's my left tackle look like? He is trash. All right, so I'm going to actually change that in a second. I'm actually basically just going to um, move uh, Darrell Williams to left tackle. So I will go ahead and do this and then put uh, whoever the backup left tackle is. This guy, Jalen Ware, is the backup here. And then uh, come over here and put Waddle and then put uh, Taylor it's not even Martin. It's a uh, oh yeah. I'm gonna make D Williams the left tackle. So, all right. And our left end is Wes Horton. Right end, F A Obata. Defensive tackles: Vernon Butler Jr., Adam Butler, Lewis Neal, and then nobody else. Uh, left outside linebacker: Jermaine Carter Jr. Middle linebackers, David Mayo, Bryce Hager, Najee Harris, and Jared Norris. God, dude, all these guys. Jordan Evans is our right outside linebacker. Ooh, I like, actually, you know what, dude? I'm going to make Azeem Victor the starter just because I like his name. Uh, all right, Dante Jackson, James Bradbury, who are both pretty young, uh, Ross Cockrell, <laughs> Kevon Seymour, and Corn Elder. Who the fuck? What's this guy's? Oh, man. If he was any worse, I'd make, make him in. All right. Uh, Jared Wilson is going to... I'm actually going to start the rookie, Rashawn Golden, see if he gets any better. Uh, strong safety, Eric Reed And Ryan Murphy. The kicker is Young Ho Koo. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Michael Polardi, who's our kickoff returner. Demir Bird and Curtis Samuel. I can do that. Actually, you know what? Corn Elder, get up in this bitch. I want Corn Elder to be the motherfucking return guy. Um, actually, I'll make him the punt return guy. Demir Bird can be the main. Oh, Raheem Motstert, I guess, is the best. I don't know. Whatever, dude. All right. Uh, kickoff snapper or, or our kickoff person is going to be actually not, nah, dude. Young Hoku, you're going to do it, bro. Uh, long snapper. Third down running back. DeAndre Washington, huh? It's just going to be a, a power committee here. There's going to be, oh, Jesus. It's just so bad. No, dude. Curtis Samuel. We're not making Jurius write anything. He can be a friend. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the full roster here real quick. Uh, we'll go into the roster. Oh, I have players on my practice squad. Look at that. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the full roster real fast just so you can see who the best players on the team are, period. Uh, as you can see, we have... No one on the team. There's one, two, three, four guys that are 28. The best players at all. Uh, Dante Jackson, Darrell Williams, Devin Fudges, DJ Moore, James Broadberry, Eric Reed, Mike Punter, and Taylor Moten are all 80 or above, which is, I think, even better than the Desperados were, to be honest. So um, what I'm going to do here is quickly, while I have you guys on camera, I'm going to change Dylan, uh Edit player. I'm gonna make him left a right tackle, and make the other guy or me a right tackle. Make the other guy a left tackle. We're gonna save changes, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and start sending through the season, um, and then whenever I get a chance to pick the city, etc., I'll jump back in. So um, after I change uh, Taylor Moten here over to uh, left tackle, that will be it, and then I will be right back when we get to the point where we can pick our city. Okay, everybody, the time has finally arrived to relocate the Carolina Panthers. So the first thing we're going to do is pick the available city. So the cities that you can move a team to in Madden, London, Mexico City, Toronto, San Antonio, Orlando, Salt Lake City, 
Brooklyn, Memphis, Chicago, Sacramento, Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Austin, Dublin, Houston, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, San Diego, Las Vegas, and then back to London. Um, I've already discussed this with TNT Dynamite, and we are going to move the Panthers to Mexico City. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's um, I'm going to go ahead. We actually won a game, folks. One of our first two games. We won our very first game. I don't know if we'll win any more. But I'm going to go ahead and advance the week to next week so I can pick the team name. So here we go. Not going to keep the Panthers. We got the Diablos. We got the Conquistadors. And we got the Golden Eagles. Folks, we are going to be the official bird of Mexico and Mexico City. The Mexico City Golden Eagles. All right. Next thing we got to do is pick our uniform. Next week. All right, now we're going to pick the uniform here. All right, what uniform are we going to pick? We are going to pick... Let's see here. We are going to go with the... We're going to go with the this one right here. The white helmet. The home jerseys are going to be red. And the away jerseys are going to have green pants. So that's what we're going to go with. Boom. All right. And then let's go down. We'll pick our fucking stadium. We still have not won another game at this point. Okay. Now we'll choose a stadium. We're going to go with Deluxe Stadium for sure. Um, deluxe Traditional. Deluxe Sphere Dome. Hybrid. Futuristic. We're going to fucking put the Golden Eagles in a futuristic stadium, I think. Bam. Bam. And there we have it, folks. The Mexico City Golden Eagles will be the new team that were formerly the Carolina Panthers. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and simulate through to the rest of the season off camera. And then once I get down there, uh, we will kind of go ahead and go through the last few things. And uh, we'll wrap everything up and then uh, get into the off season, so we can start playing games as the Mexico City Golden Eagles. So let me go and get through this season, and I will be right back. Okay, everybody, here we are at the end of the season. We went ahead and uh, went through the entire season. Uh, we ended up 2-14. and 14. We officially went through... To become the Golden Eagles, we are sitting right before the offseason, the very last chance I have to re-sign anyone on the team. So I'm going to go in and do that here um, in the offseason video here that I'm about to make. I will get that done before then. So let me go ahead and start out. Let's see how this team fared at, in their 2-14 and 14 season. So we had this uh, Tim Boyle guy. He was uh, 3,400 yards, 18 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. That's actually not half bad. Oh, what about rushing? We have uh, Raheem Mostert and DeAndre Washington. They basically split carries and both did fucking terrible. Neither one of them had over four yards of carry. They didn't have very many touchdowns. Wow, that was pretty bunk. All right, so, God, out of fucking my wide receivers, Joshua Perkins had the most. Nobody eclipsed. It looks like he spread around pretty good, though. 62, 60, 58, 52. So he used four receivers pretty consistently. Um, oh, DeAndre Washington even had some stuff. So, But nobody really did anything. Nobody really did anything great. Uh, let's go ahead and go to blocking. Oh, who cares? Defense. Who did anything? So my cornerback had the most tackles. Bryce Hager. I mean, he looks like he may be doing something. Um, all right, how many sacks did anybody have? Three sacks was the most. Interceptions, three interceptions was the most. So my team is trash. <laughs> Young Ho Ku, oh my god, dude, he missed five out of he missed five out of fifteen kicks. He made all his extra points though, so I guess that's good. Uh, punting, he had a pretty good average. K 
kick return anybody, Demir Bird or Corn Elder. <laughs> Neither one of them did really anything. Pretty average. And Raheem Mostert had no fucking thing. So basically the team was fucking trash. Um, I knew that. So um, yeah, so that's great. So let's go ahead and view the awards. We'll go uh, yearly awards. MVP, Jared Goff. So he was the MVP of the league. Oh, look at Baker, mate. Look at the Browns being 10 and 5. All right, let's go ahead. And Coach of the Year was Matt Nagy of the Bears. So we are in the NFC. Offensive Player of the Year was anybody on our team even nominated? No. Defensive Player of the Year. Nobody on our team was nominated. Khalil Mack was Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Ooh. So who we got? Tim Boyle was third. So, like, he's actually, like... He's only 67, though. Like, bro, I'm drafting somebody. All right, and DJ Moore. So DJ Moore. So that's not that's promising. Defensive rookie of the year. All right, Dante Jackson and Rashawn Gold Golden. So I need to keep him. I mean, they're both decent if they were nominated for rookie of the year. Best quarterback, nobody. Best running back, nobody. Best wide receiver, nobody. Best offensive lineman, nobody. Best defensive lineman, nobody. Best linebacker, nobody. Best defensive back, nobody. Best kicker, nobody. Oh, wait. How are you 10 and 15 out of kicks? And Young Ho Koo is, ugh, dude, whatever. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll go, let's go ahead and see who won the Super Bowl. This past season, um, we'll go to the schedule. All right, we'll go to league schedule, and then we will go week. All right, so we had who? We had uh, Baltimore beat Miami. The Rams beat Dallas. Houston beat Pittsburgh. Hell yeah. The Lions beat the Seahawks. Wouldn't it be awesome if the Lions made the Super Bowl because I traded them Cam Newton and Colin McCaffrey? <laughs> so we have... Uh, the Chargers beat the Ravens. The Bears beat the Rams. Oh, God, the Browns beat the Texans. Ugh, ugly. And, oh, my God, and the Falcon, the Lions beat the Falcons. Oh, shit, please tell me. And then we had the Chargers beat the Texans. Oh, and the Bear, the Lions beat the Bears. Oh, no. So the, the Lions did make the Super Bowl with Cam Newton and, and Colin McCaffrey. Did they pull it off? Did they pull it fucking off? Oh, bro, that sucks. Motherfuckers. Oh, well. So the Chargers won the Super Bowl. Um, after I traded the Lions, like all my good players, they made the Super Bowl. Uh, but last, so maybe, you know, so the Lions actually did something good. So let's go ahead and look here at, uh, you know, who the team, the final team before all these guys get knocked away. Here's who the team Here's who the, what the team looks like uh, before I just let all these free agents go because I just filled the team with people. So Tim Boyle is going to be gone. I'm not going to keep any of these guys. These guys are fucking trash. Uh, Wellman, yeah, I mean just, I mean just trash, 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 trash. Um, I think Futchess's contract is up, so I may even let him go just because why not? Um. All right, man. Like, nobody's really stood out. Um, oh, Taylor Moten got a little better. All right. So, like, things are... Nobody nobody is making it, made any progress all season. Like, so, it looks like I'm probably going to let everybody go off my team for the most part. Because <laughs> nobody is decent at all. I mean, I guess I'll keep anybody who's in the 70s, maybe. But... There is a, uh, oh, there's that guy. He looks, oh, yeah, look at him. He does things. And Bradbury, he had a bunch of tackles. So these two dudes are at least promising. Um, yeah. Oh, Rashawn. Okay, he was he was nominated, so I'll keep him around. He was a rookie. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. So <laughs> young Hoku, that's so funny. All right. And we're, what kind of picks do I got? Ooh, I had the second pick in the draft. Son of a bitch, the second pick. Oh, and Detroit made the Super Bowl, so that pick was fucking worthless. Bullshit, bro. Anyways, 
All right, so I got some decent picks. Hopefully, I can get a quarterback with the second pick. Um, and we'll go from there. So, all right, guys. Uh, that is all the time that I have for today's deconstruction and relocation of the Carolina Panthers into the Mexico City Golden Eagles. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe. Click that little notification bell. Lie to some of your friends. Tell them we're good. Tell them we're worth subscribing to. Um, but what we're going to do next is we will get into the off season. Um, that'll be the next video I put out that will go over, you know, everything, me basically the first off season rebuilding the Eagle, the golden Eagles signing free agents, drafting, trying to draft the quarterback of the future, uh, the running back of the future, a wide receiver, probably of some sort, you know, things like that. And, uh, and then we'll start playing the games and when I actually play the games, uh, the my uh, partner in crime here, Crazy Town Media, TNT Dynamite. He'll be on the recordings with me, just like he was with the Desperados. So um, we'll go and see how this new franchise works out. And um, I will go ahead and see you next week on the off-season rebuild of the uh, Mexico City Golden Eagles. But for Jonas, I am...